cool, guys. Check it out. My cheap ass projector came from China. This was uh, one of the projectors that I saw on Amazon. A couple people had made recommendations. Um, some of the recommendations, the resolutions were a little bit low. Uh, the native resolution on those was like 320 by 240, which is the resolution of TV that we grew up with, like back in the 80s and 90s. Um, typically for DVD, you want at least a 480p resolution, uh, native resolution. That means uh, like a DVD is 720p by 480p, so if your projector does 480p, it would do um, standard DVD resolutions, which is going to be fine for anything like the Atmosphere Effects DVDs. If you want to go higher than that and you were trying to project something um, directly from a computer, um, you know, you probably want at least a projector that supports 1024 by 768 to get a decent picture. What you'll actually see in a lot of the reviews is people say that the picture looks okay, but they can't read um, text. That's because uh, the picture usually isn't defined enough to the point where if it's not operating at a native resolution, you're going to notice. Um, so, like, for example, when we grew up, we used to watch 320 by 240 P, uh, 320 by 240 resolution TVs, and our cartoons look fine and our TV shows look fine. Nowadays, they just look so much better. Uh, but the big thing that you will notice with those is um, if it's below a certain resolution, the text and menus are going to look bad on your laptop. So what uh, with this particular one, like I said, it supports up to 480p. They actually said in the specs that uh, native, see like right here it says it supports 1920 by 1080 That is totally to trick people. Um, it might attempt to display things that are natively in this resolution, but the native resolution on this is uh, 640 by 480. Um, that's actually the best resolution you're gonna get, typically on a sub $70 projector, $70, $75 projector. This thing was like 65 bucks. Um, short of going on eBay, and buying a used LCD projector on there. A um, couple people linked uh, some of those projectors. Uh, Jeff Davis linked me one. It was actually, he linked me a really nice one. I think it was like 35 bucks. I believe it supported 1024 by 768 native resolution. Uh, so that would have been fine to use with a laptop. Um, it was a little bigger than what I was looking for size-wise. Um, I was hoping to get a mini projector. Um, and uh, it had a couple hours on the bulb, but I mean, like I said, it was a great deal. It just wasn't exactly what I was looking for. And um, I'm just being picky. That's another thing. I mean, I've heard people, I've seen a lot of vlogs where people talked about getting deals on projectors and the projectors they got were pretty nice. Um, the deals I think that, uh, that I'd seen people get were like closeout, clearance, Black Friday kind of stuff. Um, typically not like an everyday pricing kind of deal. Um, and I think in those cases too, it was, you know, most of the time like quantity one, like you're not picking up three or four projectors for your haunt or your cemetery because they're at this, they're basically, they're at this price because they're being blown out or liquidated. Um, so from the research I did, this seems like a really good projector, uh, 640, by 480p is a lot better than 320 by 240 and really for the ten dollar difference i would recommend getting bumped up to this um but all my rambling aside let's actually set it up and see what it looks like because specs mean nothing if the picture quality sucks so let's take a look at it and see what it actually looks like Okay, and before I forget, let's do the obligatory unboxing video. Um, you know, I'm not really into those. Uh, I just want people to know exactly what comes with this, because I kind of had questions. I mean, it's hard to tell when you look at the page on Amazon, and these things are from China, and they're dirt cheap. So, you know, it's nice to know that what actually comes with it matches what's on the page. 
So it comes with a controller. The controller's pretty light, feels pretty cheap. You know, for a hunt, you're really not gonna use it. You select your source, your video plays, it's on a loop, you're done. Um, it comes with a power adapter. That's great. Um, some of the ones that run on batteries, it's not clear whether they come with power adapter or not. And if you run it all night in a cemetery, you're not going to run it on battery power because a lot of those are like the lithium ion uh, rechargeable. So I'm guessing for video, you're probably going to get two to three hours out of those tops. And I think that's probably being generous. Um, this thing looks like a proprietary RCA video cable. Uh, you're probably not using this either. If you were using a 320 by 240 projector, this would be fine. You know, you're going to hook up your typical RCA connections, and this is going to plug into the projector. I did notice that this has a digital input, um, so I'm probably just going to be using HDMI because uh, it's a lot easier to do it that way. And then, of course, the projector itself. Um, that's cool. It's pretty small. Hopefully the quality is good. And that's really what I was looking for. This is something you can hide inside a tombstone and it won't be that noticeable. And it looks like it comes with some semblance of a manual. Um, just looking at it on a quick glance, it actually looks like uh, it's written pretty well. It's hard to say. I really don't put a lot of uh, importance on manuals and stuff that I order from China. Usually it's stuff you can, either you can figure it out or it's broken right out of the box. So let's find out. Hopefully this is not broken. Okay. I wish I had uh, recorded that. The uh, startup to this thing plays some really creepy, uh, like, infomercial music, which is pretty amusing. So, to my understanding... It's manual focus, so we're just going to kind of bring that in. So I've got it extremely close to the wall right now just because of where things are. Okay, so the one thing I'll tell you, the uh, power cable that comes with this is really short, which is why it is where it is. And then I've got my laptop here connected to this via HDMI. Um, so we're at about... I don't know, probably four feet, three and a half, four feet. Um, from this distance, and I don't know if how easy it is to see in here, it actually looks good. I mean, you can see pixels in it, um, but as you can see, the room is like well lit right now. And from this distance, you can see it just fine. So think, for example, if where the screen is, you had your singing pumpkin set up, and then four feet ahead of it, you had a tombstone with this thing hidden in it. Even at dusk, with this much light outside or wherever you had your setup, you would obviously be able to see uh, the projection. Um, so that actually looks pretty good. Uh, you know, for 65 bucks, I wasn't expecting a lot. And just this initial screen does kind of exceed what I was expecting to get from this. Okay, so... Right now, there is a little button on here that you can see, source, and if we click that, it brings up a little menu here. Um, I went ahead and selected what I think means selected, um, HDMI. Uh, the one thing, oh, hey, and there you go, there's my computer monitor. I was going to say, a lot of people when you run into problems trying to um, connect a projector, what you want to do is click on the start menu here. And this is in Windows 7. Just go ahead and type projector. And you'll actually have a little thing come up here. Connect to a projector. So if you have a projector connected to your laptop and you're having any problems, bring that up. It'll give you a couple options. You say disconnect. You can duplicate your screen. You can extend your screen or you can have projector only. Uh, sometimes something that's nice to do is the extended screen. And um, what happens, so I've got my primary screen here and over there, I've just got the background basically of a second desktop. Um, the reason that this is nice is say you are controlling your 
Halloween display from your laptop, you can start your video on this screen and basically drag it off the edge of the screen and it's going to go over there. So the thing that you're projecting in your cemetery, people only see what you put up on that screen. But you can control your setup from here in case you need to troubleshoot or stop or start videos, you know, what have you. Okay, so I grabbed an extension cord from the garage. So I got a little more distance. I'd say we're probably seven or eight feet from the wall now. Unfortunately, up in the living room, I don't really have a good wall to uh, project onto. So you should be getting a green light here. Oh, okay. Now we're getting... Yeah, there you go. So that's the startup. Okay, and we got our screen, and we're farther away now, so we have to manually adjust the uh, lens here. So, and you just kind of eyeball this. You can tell you got it when you kind of see the pixels in there. And you're going to see that on a less expensive projector. So, in case you can't see it, let me get in close here. Okay. So the little lines that are making up the letters, those are the pixels. That's what you're going to see in a lower resolution projector. So keep that in mind when you are buying a 320 by 240 p Those are going to be pretty big squares. Um, they'll probably be about double the size of these because this is a 640 by 480 uh, Basically, the higher the resolution the projector is, the less noticeable those squares become. Um, because they're going to be smaller. You know, and there are other factors too that go into it, but when you hear people talking about the resolution, it's basically how fine things look. Because those squares are small, you can create more detail in the picture. So I did notice at the bottom there, you can see the little claim of uh, uh, HD 1080p. Uh, that's definitely not 1080p. But like I said, you're not going to find, you know, you'd be lucky to find, like I said, um, some of the ones that people linked to me on eBay were like 1024 by 768. That's pretty good for a projector, especially under 50 bucks. That's really good for a projector. You're not going to find projectors that actually do 720p or 1080p until you're up in the several hundred dollar range. And I mean, the ones that say that they natively support that between two to four hundred dollars are going to be kind of iffy at best um you know there's a whole market for home theater projectors and you got guys spending two to three thousand dollars on a 1080p projector so you know have realistic expectations when you're looking for a projector and like i said if if you do want one that's going to look good connected to your uh, laptop or your computer um, if it does 1024 by 768 uh, native, that's that's going to be pretty good, especially if you can get a deal on that projector. So let's go ahead and try and play something. Um, I've got the uh, Atmosphere FX thing lined up, and as you can see, I just threw it over to the uh, secondary display here. And so, like, one thing you will notice is... Uh, you know, like the player on here, I could only see, it's hard to read. Um, like I assume that's the enlarge button. And so this is where you run into the lower resolution is, uh, you know, for example, look at the Vimeo logo. You know, that's pretty hard to read. The text on the menu is indiscernible. So, you know, 640 by 480, we're looking at using this mainly for uh, my intended purpose for this was going to be the Jack Lantern Jamboree because the faces are pretty uh, simple. Is sure to make any young Halloween lovers face light up with joy. He 
Okay, that's pretty good, guys. I'm uh, I'm sitting here holding it, so that's why it's shaky. But we're at about 15 to 20 feet here with a lot of ambient light in the house. So I'm actually surprised with uh, how well this works for the money. So there you have it, guys. That's a good rundown of the projector. Um... The uh, performance you're going to get from it, the specs and everything, I'm not really going to cover those because um, I can just link you the page on Amazon where I got it. You know, obviously it's got a headphone jack, it's got um, an SD card jack. The one thing I am interested in with this one is how well the SD card works. Uh, it supposedly supports multiple video formats, so if you had uh, Atmosphere FX uh, DVD and you ripped it into a compatible format um, technically this thing could work as both the projector and the player which would really simplify your setup you wouldn't need a laptop or DVD player connected to this and uh, as far as the audio goes you could have the headphones out going to a speaker set to get um, better audio because the speaker that's in here is uh, really basic so overall um, I think the performance on this is pretty good. Obviously, it's not a high-end projector. Um, you're always going to have some people who get hung up on the specs, uh, resolution, contrast ratio, uh, lumens, um, you know, all those things. Um, really, specs are just a bunch of numbers on a piece of paper. They give you a good idea of what you're getting in the package, but until you actually um, run the projector... It's hard to say. I mean, you know, advertising and marketing is what it is for a reason. Uh, there are a lot of projectors out there that um, have very misleading specs. I think that this thing was actually really straightforward, and the uh, performance that you get from it is what I would expect from looking at the specs. Um, actually, even a little bit more than what I expected from looking at the specs. So this is the uh, H80 projector on Amazon. Um, took about two to three weeks to get here. $65 overall. I think this is good value for the money. Uh, if you want to do a uh, basic projection in your cemetery or yard display or haunt, and you are new to projectors or afraid to uh, commit to a uh, you know expensive purchase, I think that this is a great option and uh, would be a good starter projector for uh, you know anyone that's looking into getting started with that. So, um, okay, thanks for watching the video. Sorry for the long rant, and uh, I hope this was helpful to you guys. Thanks.